touch sexual related issue, I have a child for him. I've seen baby mamas want to force the person's hand to marry. They think that if I get pregnant for the guy, I'll make him marry me. Big mistake. If he doesn't love you, marriage should only be built on the foundation of love. Once that is not the foundation, any other thing you want to build on, it's not going to carry the weight of a house. So I've seen many people say, oh, because I have a child for him, I must marry him. No. If you have a child for someone and he doesn't love you enough to marry you, please carry your child and trust God. I've seen many single mothers get married, happily married. So don't, don't have the mentality that nobody will marry me if I'm a single mother. No, it's a lie. There are people that have married single mothers, many of them. Hallelujah. So don't let down and make you feel, oh, I'm a single mother, you know, I can marry anybody, let them pity me, or I want to marry the guy that I have a child for by force. Many, many years ago, many, many years ago, about 15 years ago or so, a lady came to my office. She wants to marry one guy. I said, okay, this guy, does he love you? No. But two of you live together, yes. And he's sleeping with you, yes. But he doesn't love you. He wants to marry another woman that is rich. The guy was trying to sort himself out financially. So while he was living with this one, he was dating a richer, older woman that he wants to marry. And he has told the girl the plan. And the girl was still there by faith. So I told her, leave his house and go and move on with your life. This guy doesn't love you. He has even told you. So there's nothing we're even praying about. He has told you clearly. She stayed there by faith. Women have faith when it comes to marriage. I've never seen faith like a woman that wants to marry by force. <laughs> faith. She got pregnant for the guy and had twins. Twins. <laughs> and when she told me, she in her mind, she was believing that, ah, uh ah, -uh, with twins, he must marry me. Sister, let me beg you. I've told you people. The way a man sees sex, sees children, sees romance is very different from how a woman sees it. A man, that's why I'm, I'm, whenever I'm doing men meeting or women meeting, I take more interest in the women because women are the ones that will feel any impact of a bad marriage. A, a, most men will, can survive happily without a marriage. What men need is sex, not marriage. If, if you leave men, if men can be having sex without marriage... Most women don't know this in their mind. They think we are a The wedding, we are doing it for you. We are not interested. If it's possible for us not to come. <laughs> you don't even understand. If it's possible for us not to come, for only you to go to the wedding and do it. I'm moving. Or you even stay down the street. We rent same house on the same... We rent, we rent house on the same street. You live in house one. I live in house three. But we are married. You give me my space. When I need sex, you come. After sex, you go back to your house. You cook and send it. Don't bring it. Because if you bring it, you go one gist. I don't get time. I don't watch much. Send the food. Most women don't know that in their mind. They think all of us are interested. No! Women, men are not interested in marriage. They are interested in sex, interested in food, not marriage. The work of marriage is plenty for a man. It doesn't come natural to him. Most men want to hang out with his friends, play football, watch football, do, do, you know, sit down with you every day. No! So women, women, women are not conscious of this, so they think we are all in the same boat. No, we are not. Not at all. Hallelujah. So in her mind, she thought, oh, I'm pregnant with twins. That's a big deal. For men, you can have ten children. For a man, he will still be sleeping with you. Don't get that wrong. He will still be collecting the sex and not send you. They are not connected. They are not connected. In her mind, she felt, twins? No way. This marriage don't hold. The party must hold. <laughs> Say twins, confirm. When he sees them, how cute they are. Take it, take it, take it, junior. That they are cute, he will say. It's women that are not concerned that the baby is cute. What do you concern me? Cute or no cute? The hospital be there. I don't care. Many times you've heard stories of when a woman has twins or triplets in the hospital, the man will just carry in load. Twins, triplets. Who could take care of them? Go carry. He will pack his bag. Just wear his shoe. His jeans. And wallet. That's where you go. I've seen, I've seen many marriages that the man's wardrobe is still full of clothes till today. He has left for 10 years. He left the woman in the house with his wardrobe. Take, he take my cloth. I can't have time to pack it down. If you catch me, he leave a whole cloth. Just carry him body. Go start another life. You're put like ghost. Not once, not twice. 
Women don't know that. A man can uproot himself from here now. Go to another country and start, start on that life with another woman. Straight. <laughs> Are you guessing this? Straight. Carry on. I, I, I've, I've, seen, I've, I've, I've seen stories that a man will have two or three wives that don't know each other. All the families, maybe he's like a doctor. So he'll be telling them, I'm on call, I'm on call, I'm in the hospital. So he has three wives, two wives sometimes. There are two families with children, no? they don't know themselves. They don't, it's only when he dies that he will just see two, three, four families. Complete family, wedding, everything. Children. So women don't get that. So don't confuse all those things that have ten children for him. So what? The more the children serve, the more they run. Hallelujah. So I have a child for him. It's an undue influence. Don't let that influence your decision to marry him by force. Number three. Undue influence. Hmm. This one is money. Number three is money. The Bible says that a gift perverts judgment. The Bible said a gift perverts or distorts your ability to make a decision. A gift there, that word gift is the word bribe. So it means money that is given to you with the intention of affecting your decision. DJ is in Proverbs now. That, so the word gift there is talking about a bribe or a money given to you to impact to impact your choice. No, no, this is not what I want. I want a gift perverts judgment. Hallelujah. So, I've seen many people um, meet a guy or meet a girl. They don't like the guy. They don't like the girl. But once gifts start flowing, Valentine is coming. <laughs> once gifts start flowing, the guy start buying you things. My brother, listen. All of us are human beings. We can be influenced. There's a way somebody will buy you things. It will influence your ability to make a choice. The secret is not to collect gifts from somebody you don't want to marry. If you know you don't like this person, stop collecting gifts. And you know, let me tell you something. Most women are too greedy. Especially in this part of the world. They are too greedy to say no. So the guy buy you iPhone 7. You know you don't want to marry him. But you buy you iPhone 7. You don't say no, no, no since... Your no. After iPhone 7, turn to maybe. <laughs> then he buy you Seju, he buy you a wig from Seju's shop. Seju, which was your expensive wig? I don't know, I can't hear from you, but he buy one of those expensive Seju wig. You put the hair. Your maybe. Move to May. <laughs> May 13 as <has> date <laughs> of wedding. Look at this. He said, a wicked man take a gift out of the bosom. Look at this. To pervert what? The ways of judgment. Say, a wicked man. The word wicked means twisted man. Somebody that is twisted in his mind. Say, it takes a gift. A gift that means money. means bribe. Out of, his, out of the bosom to pervert the ways of what? Judgment. Perverts your thinking. Stop collecting a gifts from somebody you know you don't want to marry. You, your resistance will wear down if you keep eating that chicken. Stop eating the chicken. Many girls are, are, are thieves. You don't want, you don't want. You go to Mr. Biggs, you are ordering anyhow. Give me 13 meat pie, three scotch egg, six sausage. Only you, but you are saying no, no, no. But if they order anything where you like, very soon you will soon become the sausage. If you don't want now, please stop collecting the gifts. The gift will pervert your judgment. If you keep collecting those gifts, it will impact your ability to make sound judgment. Many girls have entered a trap because the man had money. He could buy you expensive gifts. Things that ordinarily in your life you never thought you could have. That's why I say woman should be working hard. Work so hard that they can, there's no amount of money that can bribe you to marry someone. Work that hard. Hallelujah. It's only in this part of the world that women think that they are meant to be dependent on men. Those strength, those days have gone. Even men now are looking for women that have money. <laughs> those days have gone. 
So work hard for yourself. Don't let any man come and mess up your life. Because even if a man marries you, he's very rich and he marries you of money, the day he decides to drop you or divorce you, you are left hanging because you've not built yourself. You are dependent on his money. Hallelujah. I believe your relationships have been strengthened by the message you just watched. I want to give you a chance to enter the most important relationship of your life, and that is the relationship with Jesus Christ. If you are watching me right now and you are not born again, I want to pray with you. Just close your eyes and say after me, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me my sin. Wash me with your blood. I receive the grace to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Father, for I am born again. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you prayed that prayer with me, you are now born again. There are numbers on the screen. Please call the numbers. Someone will be willing to speak with you. God bless you. Hi there. Can I invite you to church? Any of these Sundays on the mainland, we have service starts for 7.30 a.m. The second service for 9 a.m. The venue is Fandom's bus stop behind the PFCA office at Amor Dolphin, Lagos. And if you stay anywhere on the island, our service on the island starts for 10 a.m. The venue is right beside Meadow Hall Schools um, after third roundabout Lekki, Lagos. I look forward to seeing you there. You'll be my special guest. Of this.